Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook DNT, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace all of the music playing in the radios within Fallout 4. So, why would you want to do this? There's actually a couple of reasons. One, let's say you don't love the fantastic oldies that are playing, and you want to replace it with your favorite, I don't know, Justin Bieber or Skrillex song, or whatever the kids are listening to. You're able to do that. Every single song, you can replace it with a different song. Or, secondly, and most importantly, and the real reason for this video, is to avoid content ID claims or copyright strikes in YouTube. So all of the music playing in these radios is real live music played by real live people at some point in time. These people and whatever are represented by companies, and there is the content ID matching system that will pick up every single one of these songs. And uh, they will claim them on your video. Now, let's say you don't care about the money. You're like, yeah, I mean, it's not about the money. I'm going to just play the game so people can see it. That's cool. That's cool and all. But unfortunately, in some regions, the video will be blocked because of the content ID. Um, so be aware of that. All right. So, and another thing also, please note... Don't replace, if you're trying to avoid content ID claims, don't replace these songs with other commercial songs that are going to get hit with a content ID claim. Replace this with an instrumental you made with a free to use, no claim issues kind of, you know, download. Um, you know, replace it with white noise. But again, please don't replace this with uh, an actual yin yang twin song or something and then expect not to get hit with it just because it's in Fallout 4. So hopefully you know what I mean. Uh, in the case of this, we're going to literally replace every single song with one song, okay? So we're not going to, you can, again, replace it with a different song. I'm going to show you how, but in this process, we're literally going to use just one song to replace every single song. Uh, unfortunately, Bethesda wasn't cool enough to make the radio slider work. The radios are tied to the effect slider, so if you say, hey, I'm going to just turn off the effect slider, that turns off gunshots, the baby's mobile. You don't want the baby listening to music? You can't do it. It's not practical. But here's some proof. There you go. Some instrumental I made. And it's actually kind of cool. It plays it with the filter of the ye old radio sounds. All right. So let's get to work. All right, guys. Desktop time. So bring up your nearest internet doohickey. What are you going to need? You're going to need WinRAR. You already have Notepad. And I don't know if iTunes or Windows Media Player can play XWM files. But to make sure that your newly converted file uh, is playing, um, I would say Pot Player. So Google Pot Player, first one, download it, and you should be good to go. So, okay, at this point, we're assuming you have the sound file that you are going to use to replace all of your radio music within Fallout 4 with. Um, so what are we going to need? We're going to go to Google, go MP3 to XWM Converter. And the first one that comes up is the one you need. I'm going to link this in the description. Uh, you're going to be taken to Nexus Mods. Uh, make sure you sign in. Uh, the size of the files, and they're very, very small, uh, do require that you create a login. It's completely free to do. So once you've created your login, go ahead. You're going to be here. Uh, this is credit to Vicky Chan. Go to Download Manual. You're going to hit Download, and it's going to go to your Downloads folder, wherever that may be. I'm not a weirdo, so my downloads go to my downloads folder. All right, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, I am working within WinRAR. I try to extract it and then work from there, and it didn't work right. Uh, so, you know, just do what I'm doing. I double-click this. I don't know if it did anything, but I clicked it first, and I assumed that it installed something. Uh, and again, I have, you know, doing it again, it didn't seem to do anything. Um... But then once that's happened, go to the one that says multi xwm.exe and you're presented with this little interface. Go to add file. Find the file that you're going to be using. I'm going to use some random one. We'll go to open. And don't change anything. Just hit start. Very, very quick. This is about a four minute instrumental, I think. It says finish. This is green. Close it out. Click on it here. It's going to ask if you want to archive it. Say yes. And it goes to your output folder. Uh, more or less drag drop it put it somewhere where you can uh, access it so we'll close that and because we have pot player we'll make sure it works and it works all right fantastic so now we're gonna actually make fallout 4 moddable uh, this information is courtesy of gopher I will link this video in the description uh, which I got from again Nexus mods fallout uh, 4 um, so what we need to do is go to your documents 
So my documents, go to my games, and go to Fallout 4. If you have somehow assigned your saves to go elsewhere, find that folder because it's where your saves are. I think everybody really has it at documents, my game saves. Uh, but again, documents, my games, Fallout 4. Access this file, Fallout 4 Preferences. If for some reason it asks what to open it with, then just click Notepad and you should be good to go. You're going to open this up. And yours, uh, if you go to the very, very bottom, should look like this. It should say launcher in brackets. And this line of text should not be showing. It should just show the U last aspect ratio. Basically, what you do is you take this line of text. I will put it in the description. It says B enable file selection equals one. If for some reason yours says B enable file selection equals zero already, once you opened it, then just change that to a one. So file save, exit out. Of course, I'm not doing it because I've already done it. And as a precaution, this is something that was brought up by the mod maker of the music section, a narcotics drugs, that's his name. Um, right click it, go to properties and make it read only, hit apply and hit okay. All right, so what we're going to do is now we're going to go to the custom music mod. So for that, we're gonna go to Google. We're gonna type custom radio music Fallout 4. Click the first one, takes us right back to Nexus Mods. Luckily, you're already signed in, I assume, and you'll be able to easily download this. Go to download manual, and go to the one that says without songs. The one with songs actually has the songs that are in Fallout 4, so if you wanna make them playable, Use that converter thing uh, to do the opposite effect. If you notice, this said uh, XWM to audio, audio to deck XWM. Yeah, so you can make it a playable file. Uh, but we'll do the without songs. So let's go ahead and download that. I've already done it. And again, it goes to my uh, downloads folder. And here it is without audio. So let's go ahead and grab this folder and drag it to the desktop. Let's close this out. Let's close this out for now. We don't need it. And we're gonna open it up. There's a readme file. And now it gives you instructions on what to do. You literally have to do a single line change. And it tells you that it's in the same place as your saves are. So how did we access that? We went to documents, my games, Fallout 4. Except this one, it wants you to edit the fallout4.ini file, which is this one. Okay, we messed with this one a minute ago. Now we're gonna mess with this one. So we're gonna open it up. You're gonna find a line that says S resource data DIRS final equals strings. Yours should actually look just like this. So I'm gonna put this in the description uh, again. Uh, but if you don't want to look in the description, it's in the readme file that we had with his little uh, mod folder. So we're going to go ahead and take that and copy and paste it in. Again, file, save, exit. Again, make sure you go to right click it, go to properties, make it a read only, apply and hit OK. All right. So at this point, the easy stuff is done. Now the other part is also easy, but it is tedious. Okay. So we're still in the same folder. Let me minimize this for now. Um, we're gonna go to sound, we're gonna go to FX, we're gonna go to music, we're gonna go to uh, radio. In here, they're all empty, okay? These are just text files. And you can delete them once you're done or you can leave them, it doesn't make a difference. So here, for example, we're in the radio folder. This one says radio. And this one has song names. So if you notice here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need nine songs that we need to create. So when Fallout 4 says, hey, I'm gonna play a song out of the radio folder and it's gonna be Patriotic Dixie. Well, if we don't replace it, it's gonna play its own version, which is again, something we don't want. So we're gonna take our newly created XWM file, let's copy it, and we're gonna paste it in the radio folder. Now again, there is nine of them. So we're gonna create nine copies. Copy, paste. There, I think we have nine, is that too many? Uh, yeah, we have nine. And now all we gotta do is take this, 
copy, paste. Now, I made the mistake of copying the entire thing and pasting it as the name. That did not work. So make sure you only take up until the period, copy, paste. So what are we doing here? We're literally replacing this song with our own version of that. So whenever Fallout says, hey, I am going to draw from radio the one called Battle Hymn Mono, well, you know what's going to happen? It's going to draw ours. So it's going to play our version of it, which is the same instrumental over and over again. So I'm going to do this with all of them. Okay. Again, let's pretend that I've done it. And all of these are called appropriately, you know, to these ones. So that's it. Now, unfortunately, there's other folders. So, for example, Diamond City has a ton of them. I'm not going to count them. You can go ahead and count them yourself. But what's going to happen is you're going to take your base file, the one we've created earlier. We're going to copy it. We're going to go to Diamond City and create the appropriate number of copies. So however many copies it is that we need here, we're going to go ahead and take those names and literally one by one, not including the dot XWM, copy, paste, rename, copy, paste, rename, copy, paste, rename for every single one of these. Once you've done that, and every one of these folders is filled up with the appropriate number of songs. Unfortunately, uh, some of these do have a considerable amount. That one's not much. The other one that's a little big is this one. But yeah, that's it. You're going to make the same copy over and over in these folders. That's it. You don't have to get rid of the uh, text files here. But let's just assume you open up Minuteman and it's filled up with a bunch of copies of this one. But they're all named after the Minuteman uh, text file. Once this is done, you're going to go here you're going to copy your newly formatted newly renamed songs full of full of your own music and you're going to go to your actual fallout folder i assume that you're on steam uh if you're you know if you did a standalone installation then uh you're smart enough to know where your folder uh for fallout 4 is so here if you're in steam right click on your fallout 4 um, game Go to properties, go to local files, go to browse local files. And go to where it says data. In your case and in my case, um, it didn't have a folder called sound. Okay, so it, it doesn't have it. We're going to take it from here. Again, if we were to jump in again, it's going to have our newly created, newly renamed uh, files. So we're literally going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to paste it into the fallout folder. Now we're going to have a folder called sound and it's going to be filled with all these songs um, that are, you know, that are there. Okay, let me give you an example. So I'm going to go to my own browse local folders, data, sound, FX, blah, 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 blah. So I've already done everything. Every single one of these songs is done. But if you notice, every single one of these songs is the same song. which if you notice and go back to the beginning of the video is a song playing on the radio. Well, that is it guys. Again, uh, credit to everybody that was involved in me being able to figure this out. Um, go for, uh, for his informative, uh, two line portion of things. Uh, Mr. Narcotics drugs on his mod and, uh, the information on how to change it. And, uh, Vicky Chan on his utility to convert the uh, information the song fantastic well as always hope you guys liked the video please make sure to subscribe uh, and if you have any questions go ahead and uh, put them in the comment section uh, this is pretty thorough so I don't see um, that you guys should have any real questions hey guys quick side note I am actually going to include a media fire link to my own sound folder uh, so if you guys don't want to change all of those names uh, feel free to hit the link download the sound folder it's gonna be a zip file extracted and just go ahead and add it to your, uh, you know, actual Fallout folder. It's going to be that same little, you know, instrumental that I showed you guys at the beginning. I mean, don't worry about any kind of copyright claims or anything like that. It's just to kind of save you guys some time. Just extract it. Move it on in here. That's and it, that's, that's it. it. Peace out. Get out of here. Go play some Fallout 4 without content ID repercussions. Peace out.